Hi everyone. In today's short video, we're going to go over how to add a CPD activity to your OSET portal. The OSET portal can act as a good resource to help track your CPD as well as record your CPD submissions. So the first thing you'll want to do is head to our website, www.oset.org, and click on the Login button in the top right. Then, once the portal opens, we'll click on Sign In again in the top right. Enter your portal username and password and click on the blue sign in button. This will load us into the portal homepage. Your homepage might look a little different from mine, but the important thing is to access the CPD button on the gray menu bar. If you have an active CPD cycle, it will appear as a blue link in this table. If you have more than one cycle, select the cycle with the date range that matches your activity. Now there's a lot of useful information on this page. It tells you your cycle start date and end date. Cycles always begin January 1st and end December 31st, three years later. You can also see the status of your cycle. Below that is the percent submitted CPD progress bar. It's very important to note, this is the percentage of CPD you have submitted, not that has been approved. If you submit 30 hours of activities that are not suitable for CPD or 30 hours of activities that are suitable, the progress bar will read 100% either way. It only tracks your submissions. Below the progress bar, we have the hours table. This breaks your submission down into the two categories of active or passive. Remember, you can only have a maximum of 15 hours of passive learning. With a maximum of 15 hours passive, you will conversely need at least 15 hours active learning. If you would like, you can do as many as all 30 hours in active learning. The cap is only on passive. If you hit the 15 hour cap on passive learning, the submitted progress bar will not advance if you continue to add more passive learning. You will need to add some active learning instead. But below the hours table, is the CPD activities table, where you can see a summary of your submitted CPD activities. This table shows the name of the activity, the CPD category, the activity start and end dates, and how many hours you claimed. Now let's go ahead and add a new activity. Click the blue Add Activity button. Provide the name of your activity. as well as the CPD activity provider. Then add the start and end dates of the activity. It's okay if it's a one day event and these dates are the same. Then tell us if the CPD activity is active or passive. If you're unsure, you can use this blue hyperlink to head to oset.org to learn more about the two categories. Next, put in the number of hours and a description of the activity. You'll want to use a longer, more descriptive message than the one I'm using in this example. Then click the blue Save button. The page will save and reload, and now you have the opportunity to upload supporting documentation. This might be a certificate, a transcript, a letter of attendance, a summary of the event, or something similar. Just click on Upload File, enter the document name, navigate to a file on your computer, and click Submit, and then click the blue Submit button again. Now that we're back on the CPD Cycle page, you can see the submitted progress bar has increased and the hours table has gone up as well. And that's all there is to it. Just repeat these steps so that you have one activity entered for each CPD activity you have completed during your cycle. If you watch this video and are still confused about CPD, please email us at cpd at and we'll be able to assist you further. Thanks for watching and have a great day.